What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Buzz Lady Quick One. Today I will be showing you three things to practice every day. Yes, three things. Practice these three things every day and you will know all the notes on the fretboard. I've received a lot of comments from you guys asking me to do a tutorial video on how to master the fretboard. Here it comes. Okay, so pay close attention to everything I'm going to show you today. These things, you already know them, but how to kind of invert them. Okay, make use of them. They will help you to know the notes on the bass on your fretboard. Okay, now let's get started. So guys, mastering your fretboard takes a lot of patience and discipline. Okay? You know, it's like a book. You take a novel, you love this novel, you want to read it, you want to read everything about the novel, you want to get to know what is in that book. Okay, that is how the fretboard is. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you three exercises you are to practice every day this will help you it will open your eyes to the notes on the fretboard okay there are things you already know okay so i'm going to start with the triads you know the triad what is triad triads are notes that are grouped in third C major triad is this. So you have your one, three, five. Your D minor triad will be mm, mm, mm. E minor triad, mm, mm, mm. F major triad, G major triad, A minor triad, B minor triad, then back to your C major triad. Now, this is what I want you to do. Practice your triads on two strings. You'll start here, your first C you have here, and at the end of the day, you will end here. Everything is fingering and understanding the notes on the fretboard. So if you're not making use of the right fingering, you, you know, you will give up. Why trying to achieve that leak? You will give up. Why trying to achieve that movement? You will give up. Using the right fingering is very, very important. It's the key. Okay? So you're going, your major, this is it. Minor, this is the fingering. Okay? That's it. Don't forget, practice it on two strings. Then you go. Look at the fingering switching. That is it. Again. Going back. That is it. Using the right fingering. Very, very important. This helps you to assess with ease. Okay? Descending back, you're starting from the pinky. You can see the connections on the notes you can see i didn't struggle to approach any of this triad the major triad and the minor triad 
I'm just free, free, I'm going because I've walked on my fingerings and I've also where the notes, master where the notes are. If I've not grown to that point whereby I've known my fingering, the right fingering to use, it will be difficult for me to get it with ease. It will be very, very difficult for me. So work on your fingering. There's some certain move you want to take. There's some certain league you want to play, you want to achieve. You will not be able to achieve it, not because the league is hard, but because you've not really worked on the right fingerings to use on that movement. That is it. So number two is the arpeggios. Also practice your arpeggios on two strings. This is it. C major 7th arpeggio will be this. I'm going to use the C major 7th arpeggio to explain how you approach it on two strings. Okay, C major 7th arpeggio is this. Okay, your root, your third, your five, your seven. Okay. A lot of people just know how to play it here. So for the major 7th arpeggio, this is how you, you're going to practice it and the fingerings also. So you, you do this. That is it. The C major seventh arpeggio. D minor. I need you to watch the fingering. C major seventh arpeggio. D minor seventh. E minor seventh arpeggio. F major seventh arpeggio. G major seven dominant. Then A minor seventh arpeggio. Then B diminish. Then back to your seven. Okay, so that's it. That's it. D minor seven. Watch the fingering. E minor sevens. Arpeggio. F major sevens. Okay. G. You go. A minor seven. B. You go. Then C. So that is it. Then the last fingering exercise I want to show you is practicing your major scale on two strings. A lot of you know how to play your major scale just here. C major scale. That is all. Well, it doesn't end there. Practice it on two string here. Look at the fingering. Okay, so you can decide to go full octave here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Watch the fingering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Using the index finger on my seven has helped my fingerings to get balanced. Index finger, middle finger, pinky. Index finger, middle finger, pinky. Index finger. Now, index finger, middle finger, pinky. Index finger, middle finger, pinky. Ring finger, then pinky finger. Okay, so I can decide to run it up. You know, this exercise helps your finger to adjust. Okay, so if you're feeling pains here, yeah, don't stop. Keep doing it. You know, it helps your finger to adjust. You know, 
you want to hit some certain notes you know you hit it with ease so if i'm here i want to hit my third i can do this okay okay that is it from here i want to hit my third i can do okay that is it so guys you know i showed you all those things without the metronome now i'm not saying you shouldn't use metronome you shouldn't time yourself just set your metronome and practice all these things you know these are the things you should practice every day don't take it lightly practice them on two strings it will really open your eyes to the notes on the fretboard so you don't settle for every note you 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 have on your c major scale is just here no you know your third is also here your fourth is also here your five is also here okay you know you can go that way the same thing because you know your one is here and your third is here you can also groove the bass line here also and back to your one and this is your one also okay so you're just going you know your one again is here you know your third is here you know your fourth you know you go you just enjoy yourself that is how you master your fretboard you know where the notes are if i have my one here i have my three here i have my four here i have my five here i have my one i have my one and three you know you know based on those exercises you've worked on it will help you to play this bass line this way so you're not settling mm, you know your third is here you know three four you can still add some dynamic on the bass that is the work of you knowing your fretboard so you hear some kind of sound so guys this is it if you're new to this channel please do not forget to hit that subscribe button looking at you just right there okay hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell you can afford to miss new videos i upload every week you never can tell the video that will change your life yes okay so expect good videos expect just expect okay hit that subscribe button and if you need private lessons from me every information is right there on the screen or in the description below okay chat me via whatsapp send me an email indicating you want to join my zoom private lesson it's gonna be just you and i okay so that's all for today i'm going to see you in my next video okay love you guys bye